Happy New Year. I pray that you are doing well. I pray that all is going great for you. 2015 is in the past. It's in yesterday now. And here we are in 2016. God's good to us. Blessed us to live to see a brand new year. And we're about to do some Bible studying. And we're going to teach the word of the Lord tonight. And I want you to come out and be a part. Now, ours is a very troubled world. The Middle East is on fire. Uh, the stock market is not performing well at all. The, the, the Dow Jones is down, and uh, there's trouble there. Uh, we have unrest in the streets, and all these things are going on. And uh, uh, th 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 These are tough times. But listen, we serve a God who gives grace. The Bible says, but he giveth more grace. That is, he gives greater grace than whatever we are facing. God's grace, God's unearned, unmerited favor. It is God's benevolence that he gives expecting nothing in return. And among the things that grace does is that grace forgives the repentant sinner. Grace gives us joy. But grace also, my friends, it enables us. It strengthens us. And I want to talk to you tonight about the grace of God and the role that God's grace is, is playing, plays in society and will play in our lives. Now, as you know by now, our theme uh, for this year is Formula 16, taken from James chapter 4 and verse 7 that simply says, Submit yourself therefore unto God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. This year, we are going to put the devil on the run. Despite the challenges in society, we're going to stand on God's word. We're going to submit to God's word. We're going to obey the Lord and resist, oppose the devil. Who's that running? Oh, that's Satan running from you. And that's Satan running from me. And, and I'm looking forward to putting him on the run as we stand on the word of the Lord. Now meet me tonight. Come out on time. We're going to study the word of God together. Thanks.